In this video, we are going to discuss a problem based on Marco process. Now, basically, Marco process is nothing but a stochastic process in which the generation of probability vector depends solely on the present state that we'll see while solving the problem whether it depends on the present state or not. The main point is that it should be depending upon the present state then only then only we can say that it is in marco process so let us see the first question over here so the first question says the students study habits okay are as follows study habits are given if he studies on one night he is 60% sure not to study on next night. On the other hand, if he does not study on two nights, he is 80% sure to study next night. Write the TPM. What is TPM? TPM is transitional probability matrix. T for transitional, P for probability, M for matrix. Okay, this will basically will denote B denote by what p letter capital p that we'll see for his chain of study in the long run how often does he study long run basically means that if we do this experiment this study habit experiment this question we have if we keep on doing this experiment infinitely what will be the result that means like if we keep on repeating this experiment like if he studies on one night what will happen on the next night whether he will study or not this repetition of this experiment will tell or we'll call it as long run long run that means full repetition we have to do the repetition of the this experiment study experiment study habits of the students now this is the first part of the question okay long run we have to find we'll see how to find then suppose he studies on monday night okay what is the probability the second part of the question says what will be the probability so this is the second part of the question and this will be the first part of the question this is the main thing you have to focus on so what is the probability that he does not study on friday night okay so let us see it is uh, not quite complex uh, let us, first step is that we have to get the tpm before that just I'll tell you what is states. Now the state is that here we have study state. Not that study. This is study. S-T-U-D-Y. Whether he'll study or not. That I'll denote it by S capital S. Not study. I'll take it as N-S. N-S. Okay. Now TPM. Transitional probability matrix. We'll take it as P capital P. Now this will be a 2 cross 2 matrix. Why? Because we have 2 elements s and ns so this side i'll write it as column i'll write s and ns row i'll write s and ns this state is nothing but the future state and this state is the present state now the thing is that it depends on present state only why because they have said if he studies on one night he sure is 60% sure not to study on next night. That means the next night thing depends on whether he'll study on the previous day or not, previous night or not. So basically here we get to know that it depends only on the present state. If he studies today, tomorrow what will happen? So basically it depends on the previous day. That means the present day. Okay. So S and NS study study so here if he studies on one night he is 60 percent sure not to study on next night if he studies on one night he is 60 percent sure he will not study he will not study 60 percent i'll write it as 0 0.6 why because in matrix probability matrix this is tpm in which you have to write only the value that means we have to convert the percentage into the decimal form and then write don't write 60 here okay this is 0 0.6 60 percent is 0 0.6 now when he studies on one night he's 60 percent sure that he will not study i am not writing here i am writing here because here is the thing 
if he studies on one night he is 60 percent sure that he will not study on other night now the value of this will be easy to find i'll just write it as 0 0.4 why because you have to know that the row of the p matrix or the tpm matrix will also always be one the sum of the rows the sum of the elements in the row here you can see here is, it is 0 0.6 so what will be the value of this so that you will get one it will be 0 0.4 so that 0 0.4 plus 0 0.6 will give me the answer as one next on the other hand if he does not study on two nights if he does not study on two nights he is 80 percent sure not to study on next night see does not study on two nights he is 80 percent sure he'll study not study study so here i'll write it as 0 0.8 correct you can just read out read again the question you'll try to understand so 0 0.8 here this value will be 0 0.8 Two, because if I add these two values I should get one as the answer okay so this is quite simple so in the question this and this values were given these two we found out that's it so the, the thing is that you have to put in the correct element of the matrix okay you have to put in the correct order so this is the thing we have got the P matrix now the steps will be quite simple this is the most important thing a step we can say if step goes wrong then the whole sum will be wrong your answer you won't be getting like it will be wrong as i said before that uh, here we have two parts of the question one is we have to find the long run other is to find the probability whether he he does not study on friday night so first part we'll see how to find whenever we have to find the long run okay how often does he study we have to find the value of study okay so let us see always remember for the long run we have to go for fixed probability vector as i have discussed before also this video i have put up okay so fixed probability vector gives this equation this is nothing but v p equal to v v and v will be the vectors which will be equal and it is given by v1 v2 why we, i am taking two elements why because here we can see here only states you can see only study and not study is there so i will take it as v1 and v2 that means v1 indicates the study thing v2 indicates the non uh, not study okay here also it's the same thing study not study okay it's your wish you can take vs as or vs here also you can take instead of v2 vns also it's your wish it depends on you next p matrix that's what we found out in the first step as you can see this is the p matrix i am just putting up over here this is the p matrix it's the same value 0 0.4 0 0.6 0 0.8 0 0.2 now we have to find v1 v2 values okay for that what we are going to do we have to multiply these two matrix and keep this as equal i'll show you how to multiply so take this element v1 and v2 this row this is row right this row into this column this row into this column will be equal to this first element i'll repeat this row into the first column will be equal to this first element that means v1 into 0 0.4 is 0 0.4 v1 plus v2 into 0 0.8 0 0.8 v2 which will be equal to the first element of this matrix that is v this vector that is v1 okay again the same thing this row into the second column will be equal to the second element so it is 0 0.6 into v1 v2 into 0 0.2 equal to the second element that's all this i can take it as first equation this i can take it as second equation now moving further we have to solve and find out the answer so what i can do you have to remember one more thing in uh, v1 plus v2 equal to 1 this is the main thing we have studied in fixed probability vectors that uh, v1 and v2 this sum of these two elements should also always be what 1 from that i can say v1 will be equal to 1 minus v2 right so what i can do i will take the first equation and 
I will substitute in place of V1 as 1 minus V2. So 0.4 in place of V1, 1 minus V2 plus 0.8, it is already V2, so it remain, it's, remain as it is. V1, it is 1 minus V2. So my intention is to bring all V2 terms here in the equation so that there will be only one unknown. Next, I'll just expand this bracket. You will get it as this 0 0.4 into 1 minus 0 0.4 into V2 plus this remains as it is 1 minus V2. So I have to just combine this is a constant term. I'll just bring that side. So I have done the simplification. I'll show this part minus 0 0.4 plus 0 0.8 is plus 0 0.4 V2. So V2, V2 I'll combine like terms I have to combine. So what I'll do, I'll combine this part 0 0.4 V2. This will come this side 1 V2 here coefficient is 1 okay equal to 1 minus this I'll bring right hand side this will be 0 0.4. Okay this is the simplification part if you want you can skip this part. I'm just explaining the simplification part also. So just add this to part 1.4 V2 equal to subtract 0 0.6. So V2 will be 0 0.6 by 1.4 which gives me the answer as 3 by 7. You can just cancel these points. 6 by 14 will be 3 by 7. Okay, so we got the value of V2. Now we have no need to put in this and see what we need to do. We have to go for this V1 plus V2 is equal to 1 in which V1 value will be 1 minus V2. So V1 plus V2 is equal to 1. V1 is 1 minus V2 value we got 3 by 7. When I do, I'll get it as V1 as 4 by 7. Now, as I have discussed, V will be, the, we have discussed the state. That means first will be the study state, study, okay? Then will be the not study. So V is equal to, this will be the study, this will be not study. So, in the question they have asked, in long run, how often does he study? So, we need to get the value of this, that is 4 by 7. So, we, I can tell that in the long run, he study, uh, this, is our, this is a value. In You can convert this value into the percentage. So, 4 by 7, if I convert, I will get 0 0.5714. This is nothing but the decimal value. If I want the percentage into 100 percentage I have to do, I will get it as 57.14 percent. So I can tell in long run, he studies for 57.14 percent, okay. We have to just find the study value, okay. So we can say that this is the percentage. Now moving further, we have going to solve the second part of the question, which is nothing but they are asking what is the probability, okay, probability that he does not study on Friday night. Here it is given. Suppose he studies on Monday night, okay. So always remember whenever probability they have asking, okay, they are asking probability, then you have to go for this step. Remember this step. This is a power n is equal to a power 0 p power n. This is nothing but I can say this is nothing but the nth step probability distribution of Markov chain. Okay, Markov's chain. This is the nth nth step. That means here a n. What is a power n? A power n is n is the nth step. That we'll discuss. What is the nth step? Then a power zero is the initial initial stage of probability distribution. Then p power n is the transitional probability matrix T P M. And we'll discuss how we have to find. Now, I'll consider the initial stage, okay, of the probability distribution as Monday. Why am I am I considering it as Monday? Why? Because here you can see. Suppose he studies on Monday, then what will happen on Friday? That they are asking, right? So this will be my initial stage, Monday night. So initial stage, I'll take it as Monday. So which is equal to this is V1. V2 or I can take it as study not study so study will be 1 and not study will be 0 because they are saying uh, now no need to see about this question okay because no need to take this value 60 percent 80 percent just we have to take he studies on Monday night so he will study therefore I have to take study as 1 when I add this 2 I'll get it as what 
1 itself. 1 plus 0 is 1. So when he studies, it will be 1. Next. So we have the initial stage. Next. A power 1 will be the next day. Monday, then Tuesday, then Wednesday, then Thursday, then Friday. We have to stop here. They are asking for the Friday night. So I will stop here. So I'll get A power 4. I have started from A power 0, which is Monday. Stopped here, A power 4, which is Friday. So what will be the N value? N value will be N equal to 4. That's it. Okay. So I can write, I can change this as N value as 4. So this will be A power 4 equal to A power 0. This remains as it is. P power N is there. I have to write it as P power 4. So what my intention is to find A power 4. That's it. How to find A power 0, this matrix, into P power 4. P power 4, I have to find. How to find that? Let us see. Now, here I have done, done the calculation part. So, P power 1, I have already have the value. What is P power 1? That we have taken starting only. This is P power 1. Correct? Starting whatever TPM we have taken, that's all. Okay. P power 2, how to find? P power 1 into P power 1. P power 1 value I have into P power 1 I have to do, I will get this answer. Now thing is that there are two different ways you can go by traditional way in which you have to take first row into first column, first low row into second column, like that you have to go on doing, okay. That is the traditional way, otherwise you can do it in calculator also. So I will just show you one calculation part. So we are going to find P square P1 into P1. So go to on to this one calculator, go to mode, you have to press here, matrix, this thing is a press 6. You can choose any of the matrix, I will go for the first matrix, matrix A. Then they are asking for the order, we know it is 2 cross 2, square matrix, 5. Then you have to feed the values, 0 0.4, okay, then 0 0.6, then 0 0.8. 0.2 after feeding press on button then shift 4 why because here matrix option is there shift 4 so you will get these options as you can see go for dimension first one you choose the second matrix because I have taken first matrix you can choose the third matrix also I will go for the second matrix here fifth option again order they are asking so matrix B means you have to take the second matrix. It will be the same thing. 0 0.4 feed the value. 0 0.6, 0 0.8, 0 0.2. After this press on button. Again shift 4. Then go for matrix A. That is 3. Press into because we have to multiply. Again shift to 4. Go for matrix B. So matrix A into matrix B we got. Now just press or equal to. So you can see. It is 0 0.64, 0 0.36, 0 0.48, 0 0.52. This is how you have to multiply two matrices. Okay. Other things I will just tell you how to do. Okay. We, we got to know. I hope you have got the idea how to calculate. Otherwise, you can go for the traditional method. So, we got P2. P3 how to find? P square into P. That means this answer you take into the P that I have taken here. You will get the answer. Then after that we have to go for p4 this is the final state because you have to find p4 p4 will be p3 into p3 or otherwise you can go for p2 into p2 also it's the same thing so answer p3 into p value so you'll get this matrix this is the final state now here we have to write the final answer so here we have a power 4 a power 0 a power p powers so a power 4 will be equal to a power 0 is what 1 0 then I have to take this value 0 0.5824 0 0.4176 then 0 0.5568 0 0.4432 okay after doing this, we have to multiply this two. So how to multiply this row into this column? One into this plus zero into this. So this will be what the same value as this. Zero point 
5, 8, 2, 4. Then this row into this column, 1 into this plus 0 into this. So 0 0.4176. Okay, this is the multiplication thing. So finally, we will get the answer as what? This is what? This is in the form study and this will be not study. What they have asked? A power 4 means the Friday night. What they have asked? Let us see the question again. So what is the probability that he does not study on Friday night? Does not study. That means not study. That is 0 0.4176. We can convert into percentage. That will be 41.76. Just multiply with 100 percent so we can say that he does not study whoever the student is uh, on friday night the chances is 41.76 percent of not study okay this is how you have to calculate okay